Well, good morning, everybody. It is in the almost mid-July now, actually. Dang, it gets days pile up fast, man. I think it's July the 9th or so. Anyways, yesterday, me and Hunter went fishing. I got extremely, extremely, uh-oh, extremely sick. I don't know what happened. I got very dizzy, and I just was not focused. We only caught two fish all day. Stayed there like seven hours. Didn't hardly catch anything, and I was just out of it. Honestly, I should have left way sooner than I did, but I really wanted to catch some fish and make a video. That's my fault. But anyways, head to the lake now. I will show you what we did yesterday right here. There's one, finally. Goodness gracious. It took a while, didn't it, Hunter? Man, choked it though. Dad gum, happy to see him. I mean, first fish of the day, been here a long freaking time. Man, ate that old dude right there though. Mm, mm, mm. Guy came off. Got right there. It's a freaking good one too. Gosh, dude, they were big ones. That one was at least. Good God, what the heck, Kyle? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Freaking almost put my rod in the water. Dang, dude. <laughs> I mean, dude, it almost went in. Did you see the rod go over the side of the boat? Yes. And I grabbed it. They came up busting on top water. So I dropped my football jig and I grabbed my little buzz bait and that fish pulled my rod over. It almost went for real. Golly. <laughs> Not bad. I can't believe that. Second fish of the day, y'all. So as you can tell, yesterday was not fun at all. It was pretty bad, actually, and I almost got sick. But anyways, the goal for today is summertime now, and it's tough. It's hard to catch very many fish in a day, but the goal for today is to try to catch as many fish as possible. I don't care if they're 10 inches long, eight inches long. I don't care. I want to set the dang hook. So we're targeting primarily spotted bass today. I've been rigged up shaky heads and small swim baits. So let's get it started. First fix of the day. A little large mouth on old shaky head. If anybody's wondering, the shaky head that I like to use is that Dirty Jigs one. It's got a screw lock on it. It's got a really good hook on it. I prefer the screw lock. It keeps my baits uh, up better whenever I'm skipping and stuff. Small little bass, like a 12-incher. Not a great fish, but the goal today is just to set the dang hook. Stuck the landing. The reason I like this screw lock head is because See how good it keeps my bait up there whenever I'm skipping and stuff. And I'll just stick it back in a little worm. And we're good to go. Yeah. Oh, no. Come on. It did not break in my leader. Not though. Son of a gun. <sighs> I 
Oh, that's what we came up here for is catch a bunch of little spots. Dang gum it. Finally got another one. Spotted bat. God, it's a spider web. Dang, he almost got me. I came up here today because I thought I was going to bust a bunch of these little dudes. Or some even bigger than him. And it ain't working out like that. It's actually tough. I guess that's July for you. Oh, that was a big one. He's right there behind it again. I see he's pound, he's not a big one, he's pounding a quarter pound and a half. Spot, gum it. Dang it, he even followed it out some. Well, I've made my way up about as far up the Hiawassee as you can go. At least I'm willing to go. There was some shallow, shallow places I would have had to go over, then it gets deeper again on the other side. But, super tough out here is July. I have not caught very many fish. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's your bait of choice when it gets this tough. Let me know. Give me some ideas. I'm about to flip down this little place. Didn't have the chesty on, so that's just for y'all on the dash. Little spotted bass. Caught one flipping finally. I didn't flip a lot, but I flipped a little. Should have had a bite by now, in my opinion. Pretty little thing. This place up here is full of these little suckers. That's what I was after today, just a lot more of them. And that water's clear. Boom. Large mouth, but it's another bite on the old shaky head. I don't know why I just felt like throwing a shaky head today and a little swim bait and catching a bunch, but oh well. This is a decent one. Mmm. Fatty. Fatty, fatty, fatty. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, we're back in my normal spot where I always do my recaps pretty much. Sitting in the driveway. Basically, got hot today. I left about 3.30. Didn't get there till probably, I don't know, 11 maybe, 11.30? Not 100% sure. Probably around 11.30. Anyways, I know people like to know which rods, which reels, everything I'm using for the setup. And basically, I'm going to show you now. Most of the fish I caught were on a shaky head. I have not thrown a shaky head much at all since I started these videos. So that's something completely foreign to the people that have been watching me for a while. I did throw a little swim bait a lot today. I did two or three times. I've told you all the exact setup I used for that. I caught one or two flipping, and I think that's about it. So basically, the shaky head setup is what I'm going to show you right now. <clears throat> basically, I'm still using my Ducket spinning rod. Pride has a spinning rod that is probably the lightest, most sensitive spinning rod I've ever felt, but it's only like a 6'9", I believe, and I don't want to go down anything that small, so I'm still using my 7-foot medium fast Ducket. Um, Pride is working on coming out with a uh, seven foot spinning rod. I think it might be a seven one, but whenever that gets out, I will retire this old dude right here. But until then, I'm still gonna throw this seven footer. 
I just don't want to go down to a six foot nine rod. A lot of people use, you know, six foot nines for a bait casting setup, or a, even a six six still used a ton. I just don't do that. I don't like doing that. I feel like I have a lot more control over the fish with a longer rod. The rod loads more, you know. So if you have a, a eight foot rod that's parabolic, you're going to keep those fish pegged better because it's going to load more. So I just always like to use a longer rod if you can get away with it. Now, if you're not comfortable roll casting a long rod, use a shorter rod. The most important thing in bass fishing is getting your bait in front of fish. Worry about landing them second. But anyways, I still use a seven foot spin rod from Duckett. I can tell you today, I use my cranking rod to throw the swim bait, and this, the duckets just don't even compare to them prize. I mean, they feel dead in your hand now. But <clears throat> anyways, the shaky head I've been using, or I was using today, same one I've used for a while now, looks just like this. I have a Zoom green pumpkin trick worm on it. Just a standard shaky head worm. You can see, this shaky head I throw has a big, strong hook in it. This is probably a four alt, and this is an eighth ounce shaky head. Lightweight shaky head, drifts in the current, with a big hook on it. I don't worry about losing fish, even though I did lose two today. Most of the time, I don't lose fish on this thing. It's a big, strong shaky head. So this is a Dirty Jigs. I think this is a Scott Canterbury Six Series. I can't remember exactly, but it's got a screw lock up top. I'll take this worm off, show you this worm's about beat up anyways. Just got a screw lock on it like that. This is a green pumpkin color, if it'll focus. Boom, there you go. Got a screw lock on it, big hook. You see it's got a nice hook gap between that and that. I, I really like this shaky head. This is the one that I've been using for a while now. And people try to skip a shaky head around docks a ton. And people tell me the same thing a lot. They say, I can't get it to skip two or three times. The first time it hits, it, skip, it you know dives into the water and a lot like that. Well, if you're trying to skip a worm that's this small, which this is a long worm, but it has little surface area for skipping, you need to go down to a 1 16th, a 1 8th ounce shaky head at the most. I would recommend a 1 16th. That's really going to allow that bait to not. So basically, it's a constant struggle of the, the weight trying to make it dive and the bait skidding across the top. So basically, if you're going to throw a small worm, you better use a 1 16th or a 1 8th ounce weight. Even smaller skips even better. But I do not skip a shaky head around docks that's heavier than an eighth. And if I'm going to do that, I try to put a Cinco on it or something like that. Now, with a bait cash, there's a different story. I can take a quarter ounce shaky head and skip it under docks easily. I have more control over a spin uh, bait caster though because I can thumb it and pick the rod up and help it glide across the top of the water. Spin rod, I don't, I'm not that good to have that much control. But anyways, that's the shaky head I throw. Seven foot rod. This is a Shimano Sahara 2500 FE. I've got friends that have Shimano Stellas. I got the Shimano Stratic. I think all that crap is in their head. I think this reel right here is plenty good enough to get the job done. It's got smooth drag. You know, it it casts very well. Maybe those Stratics have a little bit better drag. I don't think it's going to make a difference, I mean, hardly at all, but I use Shimano Sahara 2500 FE. I don't really, I'm not really big into spin reels. I can't tell you what an FE even means. I know a 2500 is the size of the reel, but basically 20 pound K9 braid, 8 pound K9 100% um, fluorocarbon. I always use 8 pound spin rods because if I pick up a spin rod, it's because it's tough. I'm not going to pick up a spin rod when they're biting good. So I always use 8 pound line. So basically, that's my setup, 20 pound braid, eight pound line, 2500 Sahara, seven foot medium, fast spinning rod. That's it. Get your shaky head, throw it around, they will catch them. That's what we caught all them giants on today. If you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. I told y'all in the middle of the video, leave me a comment of what bait you pick up when it's tough. I still wanna know that. Give me some ideas. See y'all later. So, one thing I gotta say, if you made this far in the video, I really appreciate it, but anyways, I have not gave Sportsman's Outfitters any love in a while. Been giving K9 a lot of love, yank them some love. But Sportsman's Outfitters, they have baits for cheaper than anywhere else. I guarantee it. I'm being serious with you right now. If you like to save money, go to Sportsman's Outfitters. We've been working together. We're going to hopefully continue working together for a while. They have the cheapest prices. They beat everybody. Rods, reels, line. Um, all my hard baits I buy from there. All my soft plastics I buy from there. They got every single zoom worm I've ever seen. Frogs, cheaper. Chatterbait's cheaper. Everything they got on there is cheaper than anywhere else you'll find it. Go check them out. I will link them in the description.